Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Swice Plays Magic the Gathering Arena. Today we're going to continue playing our Rakdos Midrange Treasures deck. Um, it is a net deck for those who didn't uh, watch the last episode. You can find the deck in the last episode or in the description below. And yeah, we're going to get right into it against Blondie here. Alright, Blondie. Okay, this is not a very good hand. We go first, we're gonna mulligan. This is much better. We'll probably toss back the blood on the snow. That way we can cast everything in our hand. All right, swamp turn one. It would have been nice to have one of our little guys, but that's okay. Post spell clear. Nice to see that it's not being dropped as a second spell. Oh man, we're gonna have so much mana. We're gonna have so much mana. Okay, I'm gonna take the bait because I have another Kalein in hand, but this almost certainly becomes combat trickable. Sure, that's fine. Um, I guess we will go ahead and drop Kalein in case we draw into like a gold span dragon next turn. Then it can come out really big. Okay, there's right Dane, which unfortunately means our snow lands come in tapped, but, hmm, 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 so we have three, four, five mana, this will be six, so I think this now costs nine to cast. Yeah, I think I'm actually just going to cast Valky and see if we can't grab something relatively juicy from his hand. Let's see what he's got. Um, the Legion Angel seems nice. Yeah, why don't we go ahead and nab the Legion Angel, shall we? And then next turn, I'm honestly more than happy to go ahead and pay for the Legion Angel with Valky. Sparring regimen sucks a bit, but it's fine. Okay. Now, unfortunately, it might not be worth it to pay for the Legion Angel now because this is already a 4-5, but that... That is exactly what we were looking for. Let's go ahead and make this a 6-6, six, six, shall we? And I think I'm going to swing with it. Yeah, let's go ahead and swing with it here. That'll give us a treasure. Um, okay. And I think I am going to go ahead and play out the Skullport Merchant just to get it down. And that way we can start using its ability next turn to sack like Lane, or maybe even sack Valky or something like that. Okay, there's a Paladin class, which is not exactly what we wanted to see. Environmental Sciences is fine. at any time, okay. Yep, and it gets big. And an eye twitch, huh? Alright, well let's play the eye twitch. And I think I actually have to pass here. I think I have to pass here. So that puts us in a little bit of trouble, definitely. That puts us in more trouble, definitely. So in this case, I'm going to sacrifice Valky to draw a card. Okay. So then this becomes a 7-8. So I think I'm just going to chump block it with the eye twitch here. That seems correct. Okay. 
Okay. Now, what do we take here? Let's look at our battlefield. I'm, I almost think we take the necrotic fumes to exile his Rydane. That seems very, very good. But at the same time, that means he's just gonna keep casting Legion Angels, which I don't know if I can do anything about. So we are just gonna pick up necrotic fumes. Okay. Oh, that's actually not the worst draw at all. So we're gonna go ahead and necrotic fumes, targeting Rydane and exiling Kalein. All right, nice. And that'll let us go ahead and cast another Kalein from our hand, which is wonderful. Makes a treasure. And then we can start swinging because I'm not particularly scared of anything that's down here right now. And that then lets us cast an Emerson Predator, which becomes a 7-7. Now, you might say, why did it become a 7-7 and not a 5-5 as it is a, whoops, as it is a 3-3 normally? Well, the treasure tokens, it says, it's not however many treasures you sacrifice, it's however each, ma it's the amount of each mana from each treasure token. So because the Goldspan Dragon now treasures add two mana of any color. So uh, using Kalein, that gives me four mana, so it gives it plus four, plus four. Skyclave Apparition, sure. Probably taking the Emmerstrom Predator. Okay. Yeah, the Skyclave Apparition is one really strong way to get around uh, Immersion Predator that I've noticed. Okay, uh, I don't see any reason to not double block this. That seems perfectly reasonable. Hmm, the land here is not exactly what we wanted to see, but that's okay. I think we actually still swing here. Um, we can always chump block and blood in the snow. Next turn. Yeah, that seems correct. And then on in step, if we need to, we can go ahead and use blood in the snow. So he has to, yep, he has to cast the Legion Angel. That's okay. Um, let's see. Hmm. Okay, sure. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Swings in with the Skyclave Apparition. We absolutely go ahead and just block it here. And I'm not going to sacrifice the treasure right now because uh, then I would not be able to blow on the snow before combat, which is what I want to do to give the Goldspan Dragon haste. All right, so now this is using five snow mana. So I should be able to Cast the Goldspan Dragon from my graveyard. Perfect. And swing in for the kill. Wonderful. Awesome. So that worked out a lot better than the last time against Mono White Aggro. Like I said, it's it's pretty 50-50. It -50. uh, tends to tends to swing with the coin toss against Mono White Aggro, but um, that's okay because against a lot of other decks, it kind of rocks. So. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode of Swice Plays Magic the Gathering Arena.